followed you while you were on Love and Hip Hop. If you could go back, is there anything that you would do differently? Slap Lyrica. <laughs> she said slap Lyrica. Yo. <laughs> Listen, I thought a couple times it was going to come to that, but... She's so scary. She's so scary. She had something to say up on Dr. K and Sue. It's like, girl, you are not on that action. Well, she had she's a couple... not like that. And she's a capper and a liar. And she does everything for clout. She had a couple goons holding her down. I noticed every episode. You were kind of dolo, and, and it was a team against you. So I like how you held it down. You held your I own. I my manager with me, and she was still... Nobody was still doing nothing. It was just a bunch of nothing. So, yeah, that's the only thing that I would do is the first minute I got, okay. Lyrica wanted this whole situation for clout. Like, she wanted the whole, and this is, like, real key. This is, like, exclusive to you. It's like, we here now. I really don't care. Um, Lyrica basically, the whole A1 situation was a lie. I never slept with A1. You never slept Lyrica, with A1? No, Lyrica... She, that was her whole plan for the season. So basically, Lyrica wanted me to come on there, and she wanted me to say, like, oh, I slept with her husband, you know, just trying to be relevant. That's that's where I'm like, girl, like, that's why I be so frustrated. Like, it's like, girl, like, you doing all of this, but this whole time, it was never true. Like, it was scripted. Like, it was cat. That was scripted. That was like a story.